Welcome back. Sort of a split week in high school football as some teams round out their non-district schedules while others are knee-deep in district play. A couple of great ones to watch on KBVO this week in 16-5A at Reed Stadium. Stoney Point and McNeil both trying to figure out which way to go with their season's tough start for the Tigers as Christian Aarons completes it to the wrong color jersey and Jake Lehner has a clear shot at the end zone, 86 yards on the pick six. Mavericks open up a 10-0 lead, and then it got worse for Stony Point as the snap sails over Aaron's head, and the ball gets kicked around for about 25 yards when finally Lance Scott would pounce on it for McNeil and another touchdown. It was 17-0 Mavericks when the Tigers finally make their move thanks to a heavy dose of Markel Autry. Second effort over the top to tie the game at 17 and then for the lead from five yards out, his third touchdown of the night and Stony Point comes from behind to hold off McNeil 23-17 for their first district win. Front runner in that district has to be considered Westwood, but they had their hands full with Pflugerville on Thursday night. Warriors up a touchdown when Ben Johnson hooks up with Des White for their second score, but the Panthers would answer right back off the reverse to Devontae Broussard with a wall of blockers to open up down the sideline. Full speed, 79 yards to the house. That would cut it back to a touchdown, and Pflugerville with a chance to tie it late as Blaine Crumpke keeps it on the goal line, appears to break the plane, but the ball would pop loose underneath the pile and it's ruled a fumble recovered by Westwood to avoid overtime and escape with a win. 31-24 Warriors, a perfect 6-0 going into their bye week. Hot on their trail are the Round Rock Dragons, Georgetown's homecoming opponent on Friday night. Danny Amador's touchdown run got the party started for Round Rock Eagles, able to keep pace for a while. Brent Ellerby on the keeper up the middle, but not enough juice as the Dragons pull away 45 to 20 they improve to 2 and 0 in district anderson trojans top san marcus in their final tune-up they will open district next week at westlake shaps were off this week likewise lake travis able to sit back and watch their 25-4a counterparts neighboring rivals cedar park and vista ridge in their rematch from last year's thriller rangers with a quick hitter from blake estes to austin franklin who cuts up field hits the jets 75-yard catch and run to not the game at seven apiece, but it wasn't long before the Timberwolves took it up a notch. Brian Hogan and company leaving no doubt in this game, a 42-14 win versus Rouse next week. Dripping Springs inviting Vandergrift to town for a game that could eventually decide a playoff spot. Vipers off to a strong start. They strike first, Dakota Prukop rolling left, hits Tristan Path for the score. It was back and forth the second half. Tigers give it to Seth Wilson, shoves his way over the goal line, loses his helmet. Gritty effort by the senior, but Dripping Springs would deliver the final blow. Joey Herrick with a pair of scores, including the winner. 21-17, Dripping 4-2 on the season, going to Vista Ridge. Wild night in Maynard Friday as the Mustangs hope to be the first to beat Hutto this year. Ja'Cory McQueen, huge night, threw for 300 yards, five touchdowns. They were up as many as 22 on the Hippos. In fact, all of these highlights are from Maynard, but it's Hutto that comes storming back the second half. Ryan Higgins, their quarterback, accounts for four scores. They wind up winning a shootout 46-43 to stay unbeaten, going through the 16-4A gauntlet of Hendrickson and Connolly over the next two weeks. As for the Hendrickson Hawks, home to Elgin Friday night, locked in a tight battle. Wildcats punting from the end zone, and Samaje Perini on the return puts it right back in the end zone. A 40-yard touchdown. Elgin was right on their heels most of the way, but Dajay Johnson with two touchdowns and Hendrickson a step ahead. Hangs on just about, knocks over our photographer. It's Hendrickson hanging on 39-29, 2-0 district start with Huddle and Bastrop next. The Bears beat Brian Rutter 27-17. Dell Valley and Bowie have our KBVO big game on Thursday night.